In this video I want to show you how you can translate other flashcard sets from other websites like Quizlet or Chrome uh, into PAUK files. Even if you can do that, that you take existing flashcard sets and learning content from other websites like Quizlet or Chrome and if translate them into PAUK file and learn it in PAUK it's better if you create your files on your own, if you create your own content. The reason for that is quite obvious, at least here in Europe, these tests are not standardized. Each teacher is different. Uh, the content, what they teach to the, to the students is different. So it's always uh, has a very individual touch. Also, uh, what you learn or what you know or what you don't know is different from, from student to student. So it's in any way better to create your own sets and uh, you learn also a lot if you create your own sets. Okay, um, however, I want to show you now how to do this and uh, the two, the two uh, websites you will need is the website you are taking the, the files from, that's in this case it's Quizlet, Quizlet and then uh, the PAUK website where you have a section uh, here below uh, where you can convert uh, the flashcard sets in PAL files. So I looked here uh, about Kunst, Artists, Art, uh, that's a German word for art. Uh, I found a few files here with some pictures, so uh, it's a little bit uh, more interesting if you take also the pictures. So if you would click on that file, <coughs> then you see here uh, the file and on the more you can export this file. That's a, a functionality all these sites provide and we use this functionality to transfer it uh, into the public website. So to make this work, uh, we go down here and we go into the converter. And you see the converter is very similar um, as the, the export uh, functionality from Quizlet. So you just take uh, the content uh, the text content of the file you want to copy and you copy it over into the uh, into the empty space here and then uh, you choose what is the uh, what is uh, between uh, what is the differentiator between the question and answer and between the cards in this case it's tap a new line so you take the same you take the tap and the new line and what you immediately see is uh, showing up in the preview uh, the, this file which was originally created on Quizlet. Okay, then let's move that window out, uh, make this a little bit more centric. Uh, more bigger. So, then let's export it. You have here at the bottom of the page you have the functionality to export it either in your Dropbox or just on your hard disk. Uh, let's do it on your hard disk, so let's give it a name like art, art and save it as PAL file and then it automatically translates these data above into a PAL file and we save it now on the desktop. Next step will be uh, to load this file into PAL, so let's remove the site. Um, we go for an empty uh, version of PAUK and we take the art file, move it into open and we see here it loaded the file correctly. We can, can give it a new name or whatever we want to do with it. Uh, in this case, let's change the language. In this case, what I think is a little bit interesting is that the picture is in the answer and the question is uh, in or the text is in the question. So let's change that. Flip text and Yes, now we have the, the picture, basically, uh, if you would ask it, you see the picture and then as an answer uh, you get the text. Um, yeah, so I would go like that and you see all the content is uh, loaded correctly. You can make bigger the, uh, the pictures as they are in the original file. Yeah, and the conversion basically works like that. 